Huh? That's odd. I could have sworn that I turned off the TV. Nope, I'm still here, just enjoying some quality time after watching Cabinet of Dr. Caligari with my favorite human. Who's speaking? Ah, uh, it's me, your TV. Now, as I was saying before you so rudely interrupted me, I was about to get to the good part related to German expressionist movement and what it teaches us about modern design. The movement was a key influence on modern design as you can see in the works of designers like Walter Gropius and Mi van der Rohe. The German expressionist movement and the principles of Gestalt psychology came out around the same time and they both draw on human perception to explain that the whole is more than the sum of its part. The law of proximity says that we tend to group things together that are closer to each other. Elements in close proximity are perceived to share similar functionality or traits and proximity helps you to understand and organize information faster and more effectively so if you had a bunch of words and images all jumbled together people would have a hard time understanding it german expressionist filmmakers exploit this principle in their movies the movie we just watched the cabinet of dr caligari is full of shots that use geometric shapes to create a sense of unease and disorientation Well, I think it's fascinating the way they use light and shadow to create an atmosphere of suspense and tension. It's really incredible. It's like they're trying to create an emotional response in the viewer. Exactly. And I think that's why they're so popular. People are drawn to the suspense and the tension created using the various principles of just all psychology. As you can see, by understanding how human perception works, we can create experiences that are more impactful and memorable. whether we're designing a website a product or a piece of art we can use these principles to create something that people will appreciate and remember well that's it about german expressionism and the law of proximity i hope you found this discussion informative indu informative i found it fascinating i had no idea that human perception was considered in design of course it is After all we wouldn't want people to mistake a calendar for a textbook now would we <laughs> I suppose not but I have to say I'm still a bit worried that I'm losing my mind talking to a TV is not something I ever expected to do Don't worry Indu you're not crazy just open minded and I'm glad I could help you learn something new human perception is a fascinating topic yes it is I never realized how much goes into the design of everyday objects Exactly and that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to learn. Now if you and your viewers will excuse me I'm going to watch some Netflix. Tata see ya.